guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to do the perfect catfish brow i'm going to be showing you how my eyebrows go from this to this the main product that i use happens to be the anastasia beverly hills dip brow and i have it in the shade dark brown because my eyebrows are dark as hell and i also use the morphe r44 brush to do everything so i start by underlining my eyebrow and trying to create the shape that i really want while using a light hand on the front part of my brow and heavier hand on the back part of my brow since i want the back part of my brow to be darker i'm also going to go ahead and just start filling in my brow with the excess product so that way it could be a little bit darker and so it won't be so uneven how it really is in real life that's the point of catfish right so i'm gonna go ahead and do my next brow and do the exact same thing i did on the opposite side but then again your eyebrows are sisters not twins so it's okay if your eyebrows are not the same shape or if one eyebrow is a little more messed up than the other one in my case this is my messed up eyebrow i plucked some hairs back in like 10th grade and i guess they just wanted to do me dirty and never go back story of my life everybody's doing me dirty even my own eyebrows so then i'm just gonna go ahead and brush out all the product make sure it's evenly distributed so i don't have any harsh lines of where i drew everything it then makes my eyebrows look a little more full which is the whole point of this because i have so many patches in my eyebrows i'm gonna go ahead and do this to the other side of my eyebrow also and wow look at that hair bro quarantine needs to be over because this hair is not the business and because we have a lot of extra hair under our eyebrows, we're just going to go ahead and cover it with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Porcelain. I just put it on the back of my hand and use a little brush that I have. I'm not even sure where it's from, but I'm going to go ahead and just start outlining the bottom of my brows where I have extra hair. And again, you could sculpt your brows even more at this point because the concealer will cover pretty much anything and I get it in a super light shade because it helps just make my eyebrows stand out a little more and it just helps really conceal and I love this concealer for my eyebrows because it's not too heavy it's really light you can really tell the difference like wow look somebody at can look at this please I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of my eyebrow again, shaping around where I want my eyebrow to be shaped, whatever. Doing the top as well, you have to be really careful on the top that you don't mess up any of your eyebrow. I do that a lot, but you can always just go back in with powder and fix it either way. But look at the difference. And I'm going to go ahead and use the extra on my hand and go ahead and put it in the middle of my eyebrows because I get really red. I'm going to go ahead and use my little Morphe sponge just to go ahead and blend out the middle. Use my Tarte brush. Use it this powder i think it was it's from koki i've had it for a while but it hasn't run out so that's so great start doing the outer portion of my eyebrow filling it in i try to refrain from doing the front i usually go in the front with the excess product that i have but whenever i dip i immediately use it for the back of my brow because that's the part that i really need to fill because it has no hairs <laughs> Wow, you can really tell the difference with the powder because my eyebrows look a lot more full now. I'm just going to go ahead and do this to the other side. This eyebrow also does need a lot of filling, so I usually take my time and all these videos are obviously sped up, so this does take a while, but anything for perfect brows, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this foundation brush I have from MAC and I probably should get a different brush to do this but I always find that this brush um, really helps to blend out everything and it just saves me time because it's really big, it's a foundation brush. I also go in with my Morphe little sponge and just blend it a little bit more on the bottom just so it's not so patchy and just so 
when I do my eyeshadow, if I do my eyeshadow, it'll be able to blend easier. I then go ahead and go in with my spoolie and make sure to brush everything once again to make sure that all the product is distributed evenly and that my eyebrow hairs are in place. And this is the final look. Isn't it so different from the beginning? And the reason I do my eyebrows so thick is because I used to look like this. Who let me? But one really bad experience with an eyebrow person and never again.